I'm just going to put a piece of track along the back here um, and of course the dropper wires I've got a whacking great big piece of 3B2 there so the dropper wires aren't going to go through so what I do with my dropper wires I obviously solder them on obviously and I cut away a bit of the um, sleeper backing I colour it with um, black felt tip marker and then I put black down there which is okay just to sort of stop anything going through quick trim off and a quick trim off and then that will go down like that and uh, the ballast and everything and of course the two wires are coming out this side so now I can run them along and bring them out and drop them down whatever now this particular section that I'm doing is going to be completely covered from a view because along here when the next bit of track goes up that's going to be a sort of um, a, a rock and foliage area so this, this bit of track here is going to be technically in a tunnel so you can imagine that that you're not going to see it at all tunnel starts here comes through boom tunnel starts and you won't see it until it comes out of that end now the other problem that you could get with that is that you're not going to um, get uh, at anything that falls off the track so what um, I'll just show you this bit first I'm just going to colour this in felt tip, excuse me won't you while I do this, should have done this earlier but we'll do it now I don't, I'm just covering the colour up so if anything does show through it's going to be dark, it's going to be black it's not going to be seen very well so hopefully that's going to help with everything colour on there, another strip off there Turn that over there, that goes through there, and that goes on top of that. Lovely. And then we trim scissors, scissors, scissors. Do you ever do that? Put something down and never find it? I'm doing it all the time. It could be an age thing, it could be just anything, I don't know. there we go okay so this bit of track is now going to link up with this bit here and there is oh hang on I'll show you what I'm going to do first okay now to stop the things being uh, derailed and never found again I bought these uh, one meter length of 40 mil by 40 mil um, black trim uh, sorry white trim plastic and the idea being that that goes there this one goes there okay the track goes there the engine I'm not going to do this properly I can see okay so when that comes round whoops get in there that would go round now any problems and I just get hold of a big stick and either push it through so it comes out the other end so I can pull carriages out or something like that or I could put a hook on there if I wanted to and just rummage around until I've got it over the um, funnel and then pull it out so that's that's my idea of, of what I'm doing here the beauty of that is that when you uh, have got it all fixed up and sorted there's no dust on this bit <laughs> um, and I hopefully when this is glued in and put in its correct place that's going to be tight to the wall and then I've got my then I've got my uh, 
foliage or whatever going up there. The next pieces of my track come along here. So the amount of space I've got for foliage and hillside etc is quite nice. Two tracks coming down here, station here and then little goods road coming up here etc etc. That is basically um, what I just wanted to show you. When it's all finished I'll uh, click on and show you again. We've now uh, fitted the plastic sort of track shall we say or covering for the track in place. Um, track down. This is the beginning of the double track coming through here and just to put it in perspective the station will be here and there will be a small yard or track or a sort of what am I trying to say a little roadway going up here to connect into a small siding going into the station platform for a good traffic etc so that's basically how that's going to be um, I'm also going to have a, a small bridge across here and that bridge carries a disused line. This is now all broken down and finished so that's just going to be rough, only about that high. Um, trying to get all the tracks straight was a little bit of an effort but uh, we did it. I'll just run um, a train through and you can see what I mean as to how, um, how it looks and how it gets on. This engine coming round uh, was from Rails of Sheffield, um, one of their uh, efforts shall we say, absolutely superb engine, absolutely superb. And my era is 1947 LMS um, in a small place called Castle Bridge which is um, somewhere in Lancashire. So it works out very well, this is an absolute cracking engine, absolutely love it, it's beautiful. There you go, not bad. And of course this is going to be the bit where the, the engine will then stop in there because this is now sort of the, the, the greenery shall we say, the, um, the, the, for, the forest, the, um, the, the cliff, whatever you want to call it is going to be there. So the engine, the, the, the track, the train can hide in there and then come out the other end um, in, a, in a couple of rotations around as something else. I'm just going to bring it in at speed just in case uh, you know just to make sure it works for if you're actually taking a, an express and going all the way around the whole circuit through the tunnel. Okay, here we go, and of course the um, it will be coming through through there. If you know, that would be the beginning of the of the tunnel. Thank goodness for the emergency stop. Going backwards and it click on, yeah. Okay, so that's uh, that's that side of it. I just want to take a few minutes and show you a few tools that uh, I'm using that. Um, just in case anybody's watching they, they don't know these sort of tools etc but if we um, just I can't remember where I picked those up but they are 
just absolutely smashing they are really good gets in everywhere very good this is for cutting the plastic plastic spurs little bits of plastic from the track excellent rail cutters the best don't use them for anything else they are the best excellent set of tweezers I picked up at a at a show loads of different um, types flat end one as well and pointed ones these are extremely good as well you can just hold something and let go and it's it's held it for you now some of the other things that I picked up oh come back okay now this device here came from America and this is for HO or double O and that is for N and the purpose of it is to get your track spacing between two side by side tracks the other one that I got hold of was this one now if you're doing a curved track this is just terrific for going in there and, sh and shaping the curve as, as you come round so you can really get the shape uh, the way you want it so it's another nice bit of kit now your wives might recognize this because it is a bit of a hair curler or something like that whatever my wife had it anyway so I cut it in half and believe it or not it's the most fantastic thing for doing your um, uh, gravel just for cleaning it off absolutely terrific you put the put the um, the gravel on and it takes it down to exactly where it should be absolutely brilliant so there we are just a couple of things that I use that um, that work well for me